students on today we are going to know more details about the food components so in previous classes uh, we learned how to test the carbohydrates on today we are going to discuss about how to test the proteins so test for the proteins for this purpose we need different type of food items and make it 2% of copper sulfate 10% of sodium hydroxide these are the materials needed to conduct test for proteins first we have to prepare 2% of copper sulfate solution for this we have to take 2 grams of copper sulfate into the 100 ml of water and dissolve in it next we have to take 10 grams of sodium hydroxide take 100 ml of water and dissolve in it now these two solutions are copper sulfate and sodium hydroxide solutions are prepared now we have to take any one of the food item to do this test we have to convert the food take a food substance make it into the paste or powder then take this powder or paste of food item into a test tube then add 2 drops of copper sulfate and 10 drops of sodium hydroxide when we add this solution to the taken food item it changes to purple or violet color it confirms proteins are presented in the taken food item so test for the proteins we have to take sodium hydroxide it is the sodium hydroxide and uh, next we have to take copper sulfate it is the copper sulfate so take 2 grams of copper sulfate and uh, 10 grams of sodium hydroxide we have to dissolve into the 100 ml of water so i prepared these two solutions it is the copper sulfate and it is the sodium hydroxide now we have to take a test tube so it is the test tube and food items are ready it is dal before going to test it we have to paste the taken food item Now we have to paste it. Now I take this pasted food item into the test tube. So let's see. The next step is we have to take two drops of copper sulfate. Next, ten drops of sodium hydroxide then we have to shake it then we shake this it turn to purple or violet color it proves that this food item consists of proteins I hope you have understood this experiment. Now test with one more food item. Now we have to take milk into the test tube. Next, we add two drops of copper sulfate. Next, I add. 10 drops of sodium hydroxide when I add sodium hydroxide to the milk it changes to violet color it proves that milk consists of proteins